is a book review of Wonder Woman by John Byrne. Book one. Now there's uh, two other books. I haven't got those. I haven't got this one. It's hardback, you can tell, and it's 328 pages. Book came out in 2017. The actual comics from 1995-1996. Uh, obviously all John Byrne all the way through, and it's all the way through. Colour, 328 pages, and the story Wonder Woman 101 to 114. So it's a continuous story of that. Now there are three stories in this. Obviously there's a few more stories in between and things, but there's three main stories. So I'm just gonna quickly go through those. So you've got obviously Wonder Woman there. See, very dramatic scene there. Another dramatic scene of Wonder Woman there. And well, it's good that the colorist gets massive. Well, Patricia Mulville the Hill. My apologies if I slightly said her name wrong. And there's obviously all the other details there as well. Great high impact covers. Now I really love John Byrne's work. Loved his X-Men, Fantastic Four, all those sort of things, Superman. I must admit, I've never read the Wonder Woman ones of John Byrne, so I was really pleased to get this and I thoroughly enjoyed them. So I'm just gonna go through. Now sometimes with John Byrne, the artwork uh, doesn't always because of the inking. Sometimes the inking, just if the inking isn't right, I sometimes think, oh no, I'm not going to enjoy this one. But this one, I did thoroughly enjoyed the inking, as well as the colour. Now, there's a big criticism of this book, and it's a problem, of course, with lots of these sort of books, where it's you've got these lovely spreads over two pages. You've doesn't matter, it goes to the edge. That's no big deal. But unfortunately, of course, you've got going over and you've got it crunched. So you really you can see the problem. It's just sort of poor old uh, Wonder Woman. You can really have to push the, especially, of course, the early bit. Later on when you go through the book, it's not so bad. But at this initial one, well, clearly it's got some problems. There's obviously a guy just shooting away there. And you've got, I'm not spoiling anything because it's on the back here. You've got Dark Side. He's coming along and he wants some information. And he goes off to Diana's home island uh, and he wants to get it and there's a lot of conflict a lot of battle and it's very well done must admit thoroughly enjoyable you know he, he doesn't mess around he, of course at the same time there's actually quite a bit of humor from dark side you've got a lot of uh you know he sort of has a good laugh at times in his peculiar kind of way that is but you've got the story which actually is a bit of a story that develops that's clearly for book two or book three. I don't know if it was resolved later on in the story, but you've got a mention of something that's obviously clearly important later on. But there is some really great battles. Like I say, um, there's Dark Side there. But again, like I say, same problem. You've got like really crunched against. If he was sort of there in the centre, it would be fine, but he's actually crunched against there. So you've got really in the gutter, makes it very hard to look at. And it's occasionally with the writing as well, there's some where you've got Don Princess, it's really here, bit tight. You can have to push the pages to actually see the writing, but then you have to push that again, which is always a problem. However, there's a real great storyline here with, um, I love that bit, Lifeline, she goes back to Gateway City, and you've got uh, obviously holding up that chair. A bit lucky that chair didn't, it always, I love those scenes. When the chair wasn't very stable and just broke, it'd be quite painful. She'd have to be quick, quickly catch her before she crashed to the floor. It'd be quite painful. You hit that head against that. Very careless bit of uh, lifting up a chair with someone on it, assuming the chair can stand that, of course. However, got some great characters that turn up in the storyline, uh, the next storyline. So like I say, this book's got like three main stories. Obviously, it's other stories in between. But you've got here lifelines, and you've got uh, um, obviously Diana, and you've got Cassie or Cassandra, Wonder Girl, so, which is quite good as well. And they actually mentioned them back again. I always have to check to make certain that, that I'm not saying it's particularly a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler when it's on the back, so you can see it, and you would probably see it in any description thing. So you've got Cassandra, she learns all her powers, and you've got some very dramatic scenes, or lots of battles as well, of course. Usual sort of thing there, crashing through the, the museum. That's obviously Wonder Girl. She learns all the, the abilities because she's got these boots and she's got all the various, yeah, whole heap of uh, things. And she just she gets in a bit involved and gets in a bit of a mess at times. Of course, Wonder Woman's always there to help in the end, but it's got really well done. So you've got that sort of, and also you've got lots of guest appearances, some heroes, some villains as well. It's 
really well, with a lot of twists and turns as well, which is great. Nice little thing. However, there's another story that's really good. And again, I'm not, the trouble is how to show it without showing anything. Yeah, Wonder Woman. There's a great cover, obviously, there. Absolutely superb. But it's obviously a little bit of a giveaway who's in it. But there's a bit more of the story than that. So it's not straightforward that it's this person, that person. You've got a variety of different characters turn up. And also you've got the appearance of this other person that's a superpower being, which is, I think, a storyline that obviously clearly was probably in the next volume. So you've got oh, some great high impact storyline. And there's real nice cameo appearances as well of some of the characters that uh, sort of half turn up and then don't turn up in the story, which is really quite nice. And, and again, thoroughly enjoyable. And all the way through to the end. And then you've got a very unusual last story, which is still connected with the previous story with all the other characters, but it's slightly different. It's more a Cassie story, uh, more wonder, obviously Wonder Girl. And that's done well. And again, I have to always how to uh, show it without, well, I don't want to show anything because it's, uh, are you out of your minds? You've got the mum, obviously, of Cassie, sort of suddenly finding that her daughter's going off, doing fighting in various things and getting involved, nearly gets killed, all those sort of stuff, usual sort of things that happen, obviously, probably goes off to the, to the Teen Titans and all those sort of things. So probably not something that you think, you know, that's going to be great. However, all the way through to the end. And that's it. And then you find there's a big twist at the end. Massive twist on the last page, which I'm not going to say anything about, but obviously leading into book two and book three. And, uh, well, that's it. So this is Wonder Woman. I thoroughly enjoyed this by John Byrne. I love John Byrne's work. So uh, I always find him immensely inventive in all his stories. A brilliant artist. And uh, I loved it. Now, whether I'm going to get book two, book three, I don't know. Got some of the other books I'm reading, so uh, I might get those at some point. Though I did read some of the reviews online about it, and uh, so one of those things that I will think about. But I thoroughly enjoyed this volume. Really, really, really good. Uh, so uh, Wonder Woman by John Byrne, book one. Brilliant, brilliant book.